Hey guys, this is a uh, tutorial in the direct uh, response to Funks My Name's tutorial on uh, curve profiles on Anime Studio. I kind of came up with this little trick to, uh, or technique I guess, on how to make some kind of continuous motion on objects. So I'm going to start off by uh, hitting Command G. I'm on a Mac, and that turns the grid space on, grid spacing on. I'm going to draw a simple shape, a rectangle, and I'm going to hit A and add a point, hit C, curve the uh, line out. <clears throat> then I'm just going to draw a line, hit A again, and draw um, a line that's two spaces long, a couple spaces up. I'm making a saw blade right now, and I'm adding this extra little uh, point on here because what I want to do is loop an animation of this moving, um, but I need to make it look like it's continuously flowing so the end and the start frame look the same. Um, you'll see what I mean in a second. I'm going to go to the first frame and I'm going to hit T hit and select that vertice, hit G, and then hold shift down so I can select the four points of the blade that's going to move. I hit T to move it over. So this is the start frame that we need the space to have it move, and then I'm going to move it the uh, down the timeline a couple frames and hit T again and move it over to this ending point so we have a little space in between the movement. That's why this extra line is in the front and back. So now I'll select the last, uh, last frames on the timeline, hit cycle. And, I'll, and then I'm going to hit T and uh, select my vector shape, hit the curve profile, and then select the animation I just made. And as you can see, these, there's a bunch of little blades around the shape now. I'm going to click in the repeat count and use my scroll wheel to add more blades to it. And when I animate it, it looks like it's rotating. I'll hit Command G so I can turn off the uh, grid so you can see it better and it looks like it's spinning which is pretty cool and uh, you can use this for saw blade or I mean chainsaws saw blades um, hit uh, turn the grid on again hit command G I'll add another point to this shape um, go to frame zero add the, another shape and spread that out and now it looks kinda like a tank tread maybe or whatever and since you have this animation of this blade spinning, you can add it to different objects. So if I drew or draw a circle, and while it's selected, hit curve profile and select the saw blade again, or animation again. Um, oops. <laughs> Let me move this out of the way. Kind of messed that up there. But you you can see what I'm talking about. It, it looks like a saw blade spinning. Um, but I just wanted to share this with, that, with everybody at the uh, forum because um, I thought this might help uh, create some new techniques or new types of animations. So that's it.